Hi, my name is Neil Caffrey, and this is my life. I was born on March 21st, 1977. My mother told me at the age of two that my father died a hero. However, I soon found out that that wasn't the case. Back when I was put in witness protection, I had a reputation of counting people, from setting school clocks behind to barricading school bus routes. At age 18, I left home and went to New York to soon meet my best friend and partner in crime, Mozzie. Together, we counted the streets of New York City, making good money for a couple of broke street rats. Soon, I was able to become a master forger and art thief, starting with stolen and forged bearer bonds. Eventually, I got caught trying to reunite my relationship with my true love, Kate Moreau, and it's all thanks to a man named Peter Burke. With three months left on a four-year sentence, I escaped and Peter caught me again. I made a deal with him and the FBI to wear a tracking anklet and work as a criminal consultant, and this is where my story begins. My first job was to find a place to live. At a local thrift shop, I met a charming woman named June who had a history in the street game. After admiring her late husband Byron's clothing, I was able to rent a room in her huge New York mansion. Together, Jones, Diana, Peter, and I kept white-collar crime rate low and took the rich scumbags off the streets. Peter and I had missions and adventures throughout New York, but Mozzie and I always had something going on behind the scenes. Kate's life was cut short when we tried to escape on a plane and be together, and a bomb detonated and took Kate's life. This wasn't my only attempt to escape for freedom. I was reconnected to my old mentor, Vincent Adler. He found a lost naval submarine filled with billions of dollars and worth of Nazi and Russian artifacts. Peter and I opened the sub and escaped from Adler, but the old TNT inside the sub exploded, taking all of the artifacts away from us, or so we thought. It turned out Mozzie had snuck in and stolen all of the artifacts right before the TNT detonated, and we had hid it in a secret storage facility. We then took the money from all those items, and Mozzie and I tried to escape to our own Spanish villa, but that didn't last long when I found out a legendary con man also lived on the island. The journey all ended when I was set under governor to try to take down the Pink Panthers, the best group of thieves in the world, from the inside. I was soon to find out that longtime Ebony Matthew Keller was one of the Panthers, but I kept on with the mission. The plan was to steal $500 million from the FBI, and we'd do it breaking a hole through an old wall and in a rundown and mostly abandoned postal building. We'd send someone in to steal the money and send it through the postal tubes <coughs> and then run away with the money. The plan worked perfectly. The FBI caught the Panthers and Mozzie even snuck away with $30 million for ourselves. But everything was changed when Mozzie left me with the money and Keller found me with it and got greedy. He cornered me with a gun and shot me in the chest. Peter found Keller in the streets of New York and Keller tried to fight back, but Peter killed him. They found me where I'm dead, or so they thought, in that tunnel where Keller left me for dead. I was taken to the hospital and I died there. Well, not really. Weeks earlier, I had rented out a storage unit. When Peter got my belongings, he found the key to it and decided to go see what was inside the unit. What he found was the remaining of the German submarine, many of my own forged paintings, and a little station filled with ways of me to get shot in the exact spot and not die. Peter put the pieces together and realized that it had been my intention to get shot all along, just so I could perform my final and greatest con yet. It was so good that even Mozzie had no idea what I was doing. For all anyone but Peter knew, I was long gone. And now here I am, sitting outside a small cafe in Paris, which is where I had told Peter I dreamed of going ever since I met him. My greatest con ever. I'm coming.